Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Gamer Sheriff here, and I'm gonna play something that's a little bit more relaxing. Maybe. Because with everything that I've been having going on right now, I just want something that's fun, relaxing, and cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Pikmin 3 Deluxe on the Switch. That's right. I got myself a capture card for doing consoles, so now I'm not just stuck to using Steam. Now I'm going to be playing this on the ultra spicy mode, so it won't be as relaxing as it should be. but. That, in order to unlock Ultra Spicy Mode, I had to play it on Hard Mode. And that's what this is. The fun thing about both of these is that I actually got to play them with my son. With the Normal Mode, he came in every once in a while, but on Hard Mode, he came in and helped quite a bit. But, not gonna have him on the channel as a regular yet. So we're going to do it as Ultra Spicy, a hard-to-stomach difficulty intended only for those who consider themselves Pikmin connoisseur. Advanced players might savor the sour tang of challenge on this difficulty, a sweet and frothy difficulty suited for any fan of the series, but especially beginners. And really the thing that I notice the most between the different difficulties is that the time that you have per day is short. So I can only imagine what this is going to do. But Galactic Date 20XX. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning. Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, Vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilize to investigate the planet, which they name PNF 404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. Seventy-nine thousand light-year voyage nears its end, but as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. Now, I kind of want to know what their spacesuits are made out of, because they were able to, like, enter the atmosphere and burn at whatever degrees it is, and they're fine. Whoa. Ugh. What happened? Hi. Look around, get your bearings. Where am I? Last thing I remember was. Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Charlie to ship. Charlie to ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat. Do you copy? Hello? Anyone? 
There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survive. Move. Oh, yep, okay. Get stuck in the story mode, you can press that for strategic hints. You can hide them by going to more and other settings and setting hint display to off. Plus, so options, information, blah -de -de -blah. Oh. We are. Now, you can't do anything but move right now, because that's all they've shown you that you can do. Oh? What is... What the... There's more of them. So strange. You know, if this was a regular game, these would be wolves getting ready to pounce on you. This planet's mushrooms are huge! You're also just really tiny. Seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? Oh. Pay no attention to the window on screen. Okay. I'm surrounded. Yes, I did throw them. You don't appear hostile, so let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B, and throw them with A. So, hold whistle to increase its range. Aim with L and press A to throw. Now, something that I didn't realize that happened the first time that I played this is that the controller, if you rotate it, because it's got the gyros in it, will have that happen. very interesting when you play this co-op and there's only one player. Both players play as the same person and they're just like transparent. Right. That's how it's done. What's in front of me? Yep. This is too hard to break. Better look for another route. What enormous mushrooms! These guys sure are dedicated. Alrighty, guys. Let's investigate and see what happens over here. What are those? They look dangerous. 
Wow, that's bright. I was chasing away those enemies. What's that? Oh no. Golly. Exploration day one, 8.46 a.m. Alf's crash site. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Elf. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members. Well, as the ship itself. The ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. Let's get to it. Well, hello there. Are you my friend? Oh, okay. Hi. Well, what was that? Okay. Get back to our most basic of a Pikmin. And the best! It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. And what's that stuck in that branch? Is there anything I can do? Lock on to it with. There we go. Nice. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellas seem quite pleased now that it's free. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. Okay, looking around. R doesn't work with the Joy-Con is held sideways. Oh, back to me. Hey, they're following me. Right. This pile of rubble. What are they doing? Why, my goodness, what is that technology over there? My copod! Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. I'd like to know how these things are actually sticking together. Mm, doesn't look like I can climb up there. At least I can look at the flowers. Bridge is almost built. Like, just everything looks. Very pretty, very nice. I enjoyed playing this on the Wii U when it was on the Wii U, and now it's on the Switch. Come here, little buddy. Come here, little buddy. And I'm just in the cutscene. Come back here. Wonderful. The bridge is complete.
Great, it still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from Kapoi Engineering. A bite. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Kapad screen. Yep. Where's the Drake? Hmm. I should follow that signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'll I'd best head in that direction. And now we can start exploring with the help of the cop pod and use the radar to check the map and the camera to take pictures. Hmm. Oh, no. Ah. That thing is popping out some sort of sprout. Head on back over there. Diligent little workers. Ta da Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures procreate. Oh, that kitty. How incredibly fascinating. Yep. Lucky. Probably don't want to do it too hard. Uh, uh, that might hurt them next. Alright guys, get the jumbo on here. Alrighty, I'll take that back. I think that's everything that we can do over here. What is this enormous thing? Drake must be somewhere on the other side of it. tutorial level is always very nice and it all makes sense and you'll be able to come visit this area later. See, I have 21 Pikmin and there's a convenient 20 on this box. Someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the cop card will be able to read it. The onion is the nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Excellent. The cop card can read the data file, so these creatures are called Pikmin. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the cop boys. Explanation note.
I think Captain Charlie wrote this data file, so who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Alrighty, let's head on out. Radar, the Drake should be right through here. Hello. Oh, you're not gonna give me the data file? In the radar, change the radar orientation and settings in the option menu. Why would you want to? Why would you want to change that option? Ah, I can see. Radar orientation. Oh, this is where I can get rid of that. I see. Okay. That always happens through... Okay. Wow, these are messy. Okay. Don't look at them. I don't think you get anything from this stuff. It's a wall. Who oh, built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life. The time to press X to perform a chart. I'm gonna pour one on the side there. Our crew can learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. Oh, the Drake is okay. Ta da! That is the SS Drake. Cuphog isn't picking up any signs of life in the heat area. What am I supposed to do now? Coming transmission. Could it be? Hey, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the land in one piece. Thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starving. Oh, no. We got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. I also like the music in here. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kapoi were destroyed in the crash window. But we can all. We now only have three days worth of edible provision left. Yeah, but you get to have everything. The whole thing. You could only have a quarter of it. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Do the replay with that to fine tune your strategy.
fucking pretty good. And so that was day one. Again, there's no way that you can actually lose on day one because it's the tutorial level. But it still feels very nice, it's very calm. Just, it's good stuff. So. There's shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake. But our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without it. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and will set out to find her tomorrow. When I take off in the ship, the onion. When I took off in the ship, the onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Real challenge starts today on Exploration Day 2. I've tracked down Britney's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Comfort. That would be very, very bad. So, came from Tropical Wilds. And now I'm going to the Garden of Hope. And so that's where we're going to start our adventure in the next episode. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I hope you like and comment. Let me know what other games you like to see me play. And we'll go from there. So this is Gamer Sheriff signing off. See ya.